Hi guys, welcome to the healthcare channel. Today's video we'll talk about are antibiotic effective in preventing or treating COVID-19. Antibiotics aren't effective in preventing or treating the coronavirus that causes the respiratory disease referred to as COVID-19. What's more, misusing antibiotics may result in them not working thanks to the event of antimicrobial resistance. Try these supportive care and preventive measures instead. Antibiotics shouldn't be used as a way of prevention or treatment of COVID-19. They ought to only be used as directed by a physician to treat a bacterial infection. If you're hospitalized for the COVID-19, you'll receive antibiotics because a concurrent bacterial infection is feasible whilst having COVID-19. Antibiotics cannot prevent or treat coronavirus. Antibiotics aren't effective in preventing or treating the coronavirus that causes the respiratory disease referred to as COVID-19. What's more, misusing antibiotics may result in them not working thanks to the event of antimicrobial resistance. Try these supportive care and preventive measures instead. Antibiotics cannot prevent or treat coronavirus. With numerous myths and misconceptions around coronavirus, it's important to know that COVID-19 is caused by an epidemic and thus can't be treated with antibiotics. Antibiotics don't work against any virus, whether it's the seasonal influenza virus or the new coronavirus, says Dr. Nolathando Nemetsarani, Discovery Health's head of the Center for Clinical Excellence. Antibiotics only work on bacterial infections, in order that they cannot prevent or treat cold-19. Overusing antibiotics may cause resistance. What's more, if you employ antibiotics incorrectly, you'll contribute to antimicrobial resistance or, in other words, bacteria becoming harder or impossible to treat with antibiotics. The persistent overuse and misuse of antibiotics have encouraged the emergence and spread of antimicrobial resistance, says Dr. Roshini Moodley Naidu, head of risk management and quality of care at Discovery Health. This occurs when microbes, like bacteria, become immune to the drugs want to treat them. Misuse refers to cases where antibiotics, which are meant to treat bacterial infections, are dispensed to people with viral infections like colds and flu. So, how can we fight coronavirus? At the instant, we don't have approved antiviral treatments or medicines for COVID-19. The supportive management of confirmed COVID-19 is guided by a patient's symptoms and signs. Supportive care involves, 1. Getting many rest and beverages to assist your body stay hydrated, fight the infection, and speed up recovery. 2. Controlling your fever through over-the-counter prescribed medicine like paracetamol or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Cultivate healthy habits to strengthen your system. What else can we do? There is not an approved treatment available at the instant, but through early detection and taking preventive measures, we will manage COVID-19 effectively, Dr. Nemetsarani says. By developing healthy habits, you'll strengthen your system and avoid getting coronavirus. Here's how, 1. Wash your hands often with soap and water for a minimum of 20 seconds, or use a hand sanitizer that contains 60% to 95% alcohol. 2. Avoid close contact with people that are sick. 3. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. 4. Stay home if you're feeling sick. 5. Cover your mouth and nose once you cough or sneeze with clothing, a flexed elbow or a tissue. Throw away the tissue immediately and wash your hands afterward. 6. Follow World Health Organization guidelines on wearing a mask. 7. Clean and disinfect objects and surfaces that you simply or others touch often, employing a household cleaning spray. The virus can survive on common surfaces like plastics, ceramics, glass, and chrome steel for three days and longer. 8. Avoid eating raw or undercooked animal products and don't eat the meat that comes from animals that have died of diseases. Age and conditions of coronavirus cases. According to early estimates by China's National Health Commission NHC, about 80% of these who died were over the age of 60 and 75% of them had pre-existing health conditions like cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. According to the WHO Situation Report No. 7 issued on January 27, the median age of cases detected outside of China is 45 years, starting from 2 to 74 years. 71% of the cases were male. A study of 138 hospitalized patients with NCIP found that the median age was 56 years, interquartile range, 42 to 68, range, 22 to 92 years, and 75, 54.3% were men. 
25, the WHO, addresses the question, does the new coronavirus affect older people, or are younger people also susceptible, by answering that, people of all ages are often infected by the novel coronavirus COVID-19. Older people, and other people with pre-existing medical conditions, such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, appear to be more susceptible to becoming severely ill with the virus. The patient who died within the Philippines was a 44-year-old male The patient who died within the Philippines on Groundhog Day, in what was the primary death occurring outside of China, was a 44-year-old Chinese man from Wuhan who was admitted on January 25 after experiencing fever, cough, and pharyngitis, before developing severe pneumonia. Within a previous couple of days, the patient was stable and showed signs of improvement, however, the condition of the patient deteriorated within his last 24 hours leading to his demise consistent with the Philippine Department of Health. Serious cases of 30-year-old patients in France as of January 29, consistent with French authorities, the conditions of the two earliest Paris cases had worsened, and therefore the patients were being treated in medical care, consistent with French authorities. The patients are described as a young couple aged 30 and 31 years old, both Chinese citizens from Wuhan who were asymptomatic once they arrived in Paris on January 18. A common question you would possibly have regarding coronavirus and therefore the perfect answer to your questions. What is a coronavirus? Coronaviruses are an outsized family of viruses that are known to cause illness starting from the cold to more severe diseases, like Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS. What is a completely unique coronavirus? A novel coronavirus COV, may be a new strain of coronavirus that has not been previously identified in humans. Can humans become infected with a completely unique coronavirus of animal sources? Detailed investigations found that SARS-CoV was transmitted from civet cats to humans in China in 2002 and MERS-CoV from dromedary camels to humans in Saudi Arabia in 2012. Several known coronaviruses are circulating in animals that haven't yet infected humans. As surveillance improves around the world, more coronaviruses are likely to be identified. What are the symptoms of somebody infected with a coronavirus? It depends on the virus, but common signs include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In additional severe cases, the infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, renal failure, and even death. Can coronaviruses be transmitted from person to person? Yes, some coronaviruses are often transmitted from person to person, usually after close contact with an infected patient, for instance, during a household workplace, or healthcare center. Is there a vaccine for a completely unique coronavirus? When a disease is new, there's no vaccine until one is developed. It can take a variety of years for a replacement vaccine to be developed. Is there a treatment for a completely unique coronavirus? There is no specific treatment for disease caused by a completely unique coronavirus. However, many of the symptoms are often treated and thus treatment supported the patient's clinical condition. Moreover, a supportive look after infected persons is often highly effective. What am I able to do to guard myself? Standard recommendations to scale back exposure to and transmission of a variety of illnesses include maintaining basic hand and respiratory hygiene, and safe food practices and avoiding close contact, when possible, with anyone showing symptoms of the respiratory disease like coughing and sneezing. Are doctors in danger from a completely unique coronavirus? Yes, they will be, as healthcare workers inherit contact with patients more often than the overall public healthcare recommends, that healthcare workers consistently apply appropriate. What healthcare recommendations for countries? Healthcare encourages all countries to reinforce their surveillance for severe acute respiratory infections, to carefully review any unusual patterns of or pneumonia cases, and to notify healthcare of any suspected or confirmed case of infection with the novel coronavirus. Countries are encouraged to continue strengthening their preparedness for health emergencies in line with the International Health Regulations 2005. In our next video, we will talk about, can I catch COVID-19 from my pets? Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to form life easier.